You'd recently returned to Casablanca. Oh, of course I remember that. Dropping out of uni and moving back in with Dad. I'd lost... Lost faith in myself and everyone around me. I'd broken up with Reza. I was just treading water. And then something did happen. Be careful what you wish for, right? What do you remember? Razor vanishing. Me going after him, trying to track him down. I ended up in Newport. I have memories of sneaking into a house filled with drug addicts. Mm, I do remember that. It, it's like remembering a movie where I'm the star. Doing things that feel completely foreign to me. It doesn't even feel like I did those things. It's almost like I was... like I was just an observer. I remember being in a safe place and connecting to a dream machine. But that's where it ends. And before that? Before leaving Casablanca? Dad was going away. I was throwing a party. Then... Reza asked me to pick up a package. That's what set it all in motion. That and the static. Now do you remember what that turned out to be? After I woke up, they filled in the blanks. Apparently it was some sort of glitch or virus. Rogue code infecting the worldwide wire. Someone at Watercorp was using the dream machine to read people's minds. Someone I'd met. Kavanagh. Damien Kavanagh. That's right. The man behind it all. The perpetrator of the conspiracy. He'd put some sort of worm into the code, turning the dream machine into a mind-controlling tool affecting millions. At least that's... that's what they say. He recorded a confession before he... Yeah, he didn't want to rot away in a jail for the rest of his life, but at least he came clean. Absolved his employer of any wrongdoing. Convenient. In what way? Oh, forget it. I don't remember any of it. All I know is they poisoned my mind. Inserted false memories. Nothing I saw or experienced was real. The little girl on the screens, the other... The other world. Arcadia. Hmm. Another colorful figment of their imagination. A synthetic dream. Hmm. And you still remember nothing of going to Japan? Breaking into what you call? Nope. I exposed a global conspiracy, and all they gave me was a lousy coma. Aside from you, Reza, and my dad, no one even knows I was involved. Reza kept me out of his expose, and even he doesn't know what really happened during the week I was gone. Maybe my friend Olivia knew something, but she... passed away. An accident. Right. An accident. So they say. In light of everything, it felt very... Convenient. Again. You feel responsible. I went off playing teen detective and people got hurt. A lot more people might have got hurt if you hadn't. Who knows, Dr. Zelenko? I don't, and that's the problem. I don't know what happened, what I did, or what... You're worried something else happened to you. I mean, it's a week of my life. Gone. That's what I'm here for. To help you through that. Whether you remember or not, it's a lot for one person to process on their own. Have you used a dream machine yet? God, no. I feel nauseous just watching the ads. <laughs> They're everywhere. You can't avoid them forever. I don't see one here. Well, I have one at home. I don't use it. Because of me? No. Well, not just that. They are addictive. And while I'm sure they're perfectly harmless entertainment, I worry about the long-term effects. It's becoming a disease, an addiction. I'm concerned about what these lucid, perfect dreams are doing to us. And you were connected to a prototype. There's no way to predict how that may have affected you. Now, I'm sure they're mostly safe, but there's not enough data. I'm very concerned about the effects over time. Until I know more. But maybe you should. To get over your fear. You tell me you're worried about the long-term consequences of the dream machine, and then you suggest I try it. Yeah. You're right. I probably should, but... 
I'll think about it. Think about it? Have you spoken with Gabrielle yet? No, I'm... I'm not ready to discuss my dad. We don't talk. He rented out the house, moved to Mumbai. You don't think you need to talk to him about it? I wanted to be just like him. That's why I went into pioneering, but... I decided to drop my pioneering degree so that I could avoid thinking about him and what he was a part of. So... No, no, I don't. Well... Fuck, sorry. Of course I do. Maybe... Someday. That's perfectly fine. What do you want to talk about? Is the new series of Eurotrash a valid topic? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> so she seems to think that Arcadia was just f fabricated Our from the dream machine. Almost up. Hmm. That's fine. I'm working today. How's that going? Really good. I enjoy it. A lot. I'm glad to hear that. You weren't so sure a month ago. I'm learning a lot. Neural programming, artificial intelligence. It helps me feel closer to Liv. Olivia, you know? Honoring her memory. Not in a self-sacrificing way. I, I want to do this. I like working with Mira and Wit. For now. And with the voluntary campaign work, I feel I contribute in other ways, too. You're keeping yourself busy and motivated. You've come a long way since we first met. I was a real fucking wreck. I'm not going to disagree with that, but you've come a long way. Thank you, Dr. Zelenka. A Roman. Uh, please. <laughs> Same time next week? Definitely. Thanks, Doc. Roman. Roman. <laughs> Take care, Zoe. Ah, press to bring up Zoe's journal. The flashing icon below indicates a new journal entry. Okay, let us look at it. Monday, July 24th, 2220. Three months in therapy. Still batshit crazy. Hello. I'm not complaining. The doc's doing a good job. Probably. My head's a mess. I've lost over a year of memories. But I'm getting better. Ish. And I do want to remember. That's probably a step in the right direction, right? At least there's that. Anyway, I've spent enough time in my head today. No more psychotherapy. Dear Diary, let's move forward and focus on the present. Oh, there's other entries. Let's go back to the start. Tuesday, April 14th. Awake. Alive. Amnesiac. Doctor told me to keep a journal. Said it might help me deal with not remembering. Because this might be temporary, but it also might be permanent. A whole year lost. So, journal. Dictating. Voice to text. Expect some rambling. How to begin. Hello, diary? Hello, dear reader of my diary? No, I'm the only one who could be reading. I made sure of this. All the encryptions. And I'm certainly I never read this, because awkward. No matter. This is about the process of recording my thoughts, my days, my life. The days of my life. This is about remembering. So, key points. Been awake for a few days now. Still in bed most of the time, but drugs and implants and robotic appendages are helping make this a rapid recovering. A rapid physical recovery. Getting used to food. Food is lovely. They bring me the food and I eat the food. All of the food and I eat all day. Weight gain will not be a problem. Dad wants me to join him in Mumbai. There's nothing for me here in Casablanca. An empty apartment. Painful memories. I can't stay here. But live with Dad after all the things? As for my memories, not a whole lot of those. Not since before the whole ordeal. But Dad filled in a few of the gaps when I woke up. Reza vanished. I went searching for him. I discovered the Wadi Karp Dream Machine project slash conspiracy, the story Reza was chasing. I also found out that my mother was involved, except I didn't know she was my mother. Also, I didn't know my mother was alive. Also, she put me in a coma. Summary? Went off after investigating journalist ex-boyfriend on silly rescue mission. Discovered corporate plot to control people's dreams. Found out my father's been lying to me all my life and that my mother isn't dead. In short, I thwarted a global conspiracy and in return, Mummy Dearest injected me with an experimental drug. It's a sordid story. I could probably sell it for a billion nuyon. But hey, bonus, I saved the world. Made some tasty lemonade from those pesky lemons. No, following Dad to Mumbai is not an option. I'll have to do this on my own now. Without Dad, without a safety net. 
without memories. I'm Zoe Castillo, awake, alive, and amnesiac. Monday, April 10th. Dear diary, etc. One week, on my feet and feeling fine. Scary how quickly you can get over being in a coma for a year with the help of modern science. I barely have bed sores. So what now? Reza and I are talking about getting together again, and I've been thinking. He's living in Europolis. I'm rootless. No roots. I can go anywhere. It doesn't matter. I'm starting a new life. I get to pick where to begin. Yes, relationship. I work fast. Is this a good thing? It feels like it could be. Reza visited me almost every day when I was sick. He never stopped talking to me. He was the first thing I saw when I woke up. Okay, yes, so we broke up because it wasn't working out. But that was before. This is after, and I'm different. We both are. We've both turned a page, begun a new chapter. It's a good thing. I think I will join Reza in Europolis. Why not? It'll be an adventure. Friday, April 14th. I've decided to cut off contact with Dad, at least for now. This may turn out to be a bad idea, but I'm angry and disappointed. I can't forgive him for keeping so many secrets from me for so many years. Telling me my mother was dead when she so clearly wasn't? Even if she was an evil bitch, and she is, and even if she ended up trying to kill me, and she did, that's not something you do to your only child. You don't lie. Not about that shit. I hope these feelings will pass, or maybe hope isn't the right word. I'll keep an open mind, but for now, and for the foreseeable future, he will not be a part of my life. My life right now is all about getting back on my feet, emotionally, I'm walking just fine, and moving to Europolis to live with Reza. That's enough, for now. Monday, April 17th. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, bye-bye Casablanca. Hello, Europolis. Europolis! That's so European. I've barely been to Europe. Not a huge fan. Ramping, rampant poverty, crime, pollution, awful food, and yet, that's where I'm going. Europolis, Prague District. Propost. That was an easy choice, since that's where Reza's working. Yes, he's still with the hand that feeds, still an investigative journalist, still taking that whole saving the world thing seriously. I love him. I still don't know what I'll be doing once I get to Europolis, aside from playing house with Reza. When I woke up, I knew I didn't want to go back to school to continue my bioengineering degree. It was crystal clear to me, like I'd had that whole argument in my head while I was in the coma and it just and it was settled. That's fine. I'm not going to fight it. I'm just curious why my mind was set. It was odd. Saturday, April 22nd. Iris. Capital letters, please. I hate Europolis. Thank you, back to lowercase. Five reasons I hate Europolis. There is no sun. None. It's always raining, always. There's no vegetation, no trees, no plants, no grass, none. They claim to speak English, but it's littered with slang words like mouse and bleh. I don't understand half of what they're saying. Did I mention there's no sun? Fuck this. But oh, it's fantastic and I love it. Zoe, contradictions, you are full of them. I'm starting a new chapter. I'm putting the past behind me. I'm growing up. I'm no longer defined by who I was or what I did or didn't do before the coma. That's why I love it. We've already found a place super close to Reza's office, and we're moving in Monday or Tuesday. Of course, we haven't actually seen the place outside of the simulation, but I'm sure it's perfect. It can be a hellhole, and it'll still be perfect. It doesn't matter how I feel about Europolis, or about the apartment, or about not having a job, or about being shit scared, because I'm here now, and this is the beginning of a new story for me. Monday, April 24th. I started therapy today. Dr. Roman Zelenka, psychotherapist. Good head of hair. Dorky suit. Reza found him. He came recommended from someone at the hand. He's nice. I like him. There's chemistry. I can talk to him. He didn't push me or any of my very large buttons. Of course, it's all therapist smoke and mirrors, but I don't mind. If I don't see strings being pulled, I don't care. Also, it's a five minute walk from home. Convenient. On that note, I need to start working out. The food is pretty awesome here in Propest. I'm still not quite sure what therapy is going to do. Help me remember? I don't want to remember. Aw, oh, I do want to remember. How much and how fast, I don't know yet. I'll take things as they come, I guess. I'm adaptable. Adaptable Zoe. Tomorrow, I start looking around for something locally. A job where I can use at least a few of my skills, or my head. Failing that, my body 
my body and no, that doesn't sound right at all. Oh, okay. Or my head feeling that my body and no, that doesn't sound right at all. I prefer something in tech, but I'm not picky. Whatever comes my way, I'll manage. Thursday, April 27th. So here are three facts about our tiny flat in the Sonning Sonnenschein Plaza Terraces. It's tiny. It's the size of my bedroom in Casablanca, if you didn't include the balcony. It smells weird. The window looks straight into a brick wall with neon signs on it. But I love it. We have our own place. I couldn't wish for anything more. I feel liberated. I feel like myself again. Well, sort of. A forgetful amnesiac self. Half Zoe. But a better half. Sunday, April 30th, 2220. Project Find a Friend, or Five, has begun. It sounds so desperate, but I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to try and build a life for myself here, and part of that is having friends, right? The lady with the food cart outside Dr. Zelenka's office is one of my projects. She's really weird and a bit too intense, but I like her. Nella, was it? Yes, Nella. She's on my list. My list of candidates. Friends candidates. If anyone ever finds out about this list, I will have to kill them. Sully's on the list too. Sully's a friend, but he's also Reza's best friend, so I can't hijack him and make him my best friend. Also, I'm starting to think Sully might have the teensiest crush on me. He's sweet though. A true mensch. Uh, 